Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. What's the deal with this tricorder anyway? I need to scan stuff. Radiation scan commencing. Please step forward for decontamination. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we First must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. We'll just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. In there. Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be hold left shift and target the keypad with your tricord and hold him to unlock it. <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Make your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. You can't unlock this door from here. What do you expect me to do about it? This one. Heck, match signals. <laughs> I don't get what I'm meant to be doing. Oh. Wait, how did I get hurt? We can't unlock this door from here. Try this again.
like you need a hand. Sir, we need to disable that laser arm. Okay. Is that what I had to do? Just hold my tricycle. Really? The anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. I don't know what's failing at the time. Twenty six point eight meters that direction. Okay. Sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Can I just turn them off? Wait, is that lava? Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Whoa. Take. No, I'm already wearing a space. What am I talking about? What's the deal with this? This looks interesting. Does it really, though? What is that? Hold E to heal. Mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now. Um nope, next time. Not right now. Now. Go! Why aren't you moving? Oh my god. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. I am in cover. Go. It's getting hot out Run. here. I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. Let's 
Or an Whose pasta. idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Looks like the shields failed. Be shooting stuff. Hello. One of us will need to stop the ring so the other can shoot the brake. Okay, I'm gonna do shooting because you suck at life. We're not. When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Uh. We need a way to permanently stop the rings. I don't know where the break thing is. a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Oh, there it is. One of us has to stop it to expose the brain. Ah. Get back here. Wait for me. Fuck you, imbecile! Shoot it! One of us will need to stop the ring so the other can shoot the break. Oh, I'm activating. Spock, you think we can just shoot it open? Another one down. Oh, there we go. Just one more ring to go. Ow. Place is falling apart. Where is it? I've stopped the ring. Spock, shoot the lock. That worked. Let's keep moving. 
Run! Ow! Find that stranded crew. We get this thing open together. Ooh, what health? Hey, why isn't it working? Great, no cover. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. It works! Keep Whoa. shutting out those vents! Captain, stay in cover. Let's go! Get a brain. Captain, wait. This one is still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. Captain, life support is now at four percent and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tamar, in what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you.
Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Okay, let's go. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Uhura Hail New Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys drive me nuts. What the heck are they doing? Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it just like you asked. I've been working on some other options too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser.
Energize.